All right. I cannot be believe that it's been uh, about three weeks since my last stream. Um, and this OS is ancient, <laughs> as you can see. Team Cup, well, Team Cup 2018 is is the background. It's just cut off on the stream, but um, as long as it works is all I can say there. <laughs> we missed you. Okay, thanks, Ginger. It's appreciated. So, um, it's a few things I need to do. I think I'm going to put the Country Cup background on here, and I'm going to submit uh, DDR3 memory validation just for shits and giggles. Um, so I'm just looking up the background. How's everyone been? Hopefully you're all doing fine. I know some of you are in Europe and you're suffering a bit at the moment. So hopefully you're all safe and sound. And um, yeah, so it is the second, Monday the 2nd of November here in Australia. So that means it's day two of Country Cup 2020. So I'm going to save save the background onto this onto this uh, USB and then we can potentially do some overclocking. I don't know if it's going to work out, but we can potentially do some overclocking. Believe it or not. All right. It is a locked CPU though, so don't get your hopes up too high. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Um, so where's our, come on, context menu. I've got my, um, James Squire broken shackles here. Hopefully, hopefully all you Aussies also have a beer in hand. All right. So what we want to do is set it as background and also save it on the desktop. Look at that. How nice is that? Romania, Russia, Poland, Greece, three, three times Australia, the triple. And then it's kind of like a, a Michael Jordan retirement. Australia went off to play baseball for a year and then came back for a second three-peat. Um, but I, th I think, I think there's a good chance. Um, <laughs> so is C CC on? I don't know. You tell me, you tell me, let's, let's not give anything away here. I'm sure we have some German spies in the, in the chat. Do I need to do anything? <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. So Michael Jordan uh, got three championships. Then it, he took some time off. Then he got another three. And then he retired with the shot. Um, they, I think there even is, uh, is a Wikipedia article for the shot. It's so big. Um, the shot, here we go. So this was Mike, Michael's second retirement was, um, I think it was game six against uh utah jazz oh cleveland hmm i'm misremembering things but anyway what i'm trying to say is mj came back in the early 2000s and he couldn't jump anymore because he was too old let's let's avoid doing that as australia is all i'm going to say <laughs> win it by default. I, I'm not too sure about that. So the other exciting thing is, yay, another CPU Z version. That's when you know you haven't streamed for a shit ton of time because there's a new CPU Z version out. Um, yeah, and it's somehow really, really slow for some reason. Yo, Tyrant, yo to you too. How are you doing? Wow, XOC mode is on, but it's still really slow. 
So here's our chip, Athon A45, the, the infamous, absolutely infamous Athlon 845 released really, really late in the life cycle of the FM2 or FM2 Plus socket. Um, quite, I wouldn't call it rare because anyone can just buy it from, uh, from, from uh, AliExpress or wherever, but it certainly didn't get bought in any significant numbers by consumers. So it's rare in the sense that the only people who overclocked it did it for overclocking competitions or because they got sent a chip from someone. Um, and it's locked. It's a, it's an FM2 plus CPU based on the Carrizo architecture that's locked and doesn't have an iGPU. So FM2 plus already wasn't the most popular platform in the world. Then a chip without an iGPU is even more weird. And then you add on top of that, that it's multiplier locked and it just becomes kind of insane. Just putting out one more, um, oops, uh, stream announcement. And the, the, the name of the architect, well, let's fuck it. I've already got a wiki open here. Uh, the name of the stream is Act uh, Excavator, Excavating, and that's all the, also the name of the microarchitecture. So I'm both excavating my stream from obscurity after having been away for a while and also overclocking the excavator microarchitecture. So what, what, what is this board? It is ITX. It doesn't have debug LEDs or anything like that, or a seven segment display or anything like that. Um, I've got my little clear CMOS reset and power attached here. Um, but it is a, a beast of a board. Uh, I'll actually just, I'll reboot now and I can go into BIOS. Uh, basically it's got a really good VRM and it's got really good memory overclocking capabilities. CPU Z legacy. Yeah, but I, is it, I don't know, I don't want to get into any kind of issues with subs being pulled because of it be, being too, too old of a CPU Z or something. It's really designed for, it's the other way around, it's not, you're not necessarily supposed to use CPU Z legacy when it's compatible. You're supposed to use it only when it's the only option when, you know, 1.94, whatever doesn't run. Um, so one of the issues I'll point out straight away is <laughs> normal. What does normal mean for, for DRAM, for, um, DRAM voltage? That's kind of weird. So we're limited to, I think 1.9, which should, should be all right on the PSC. Um, oh, hi, Cold Wolf. So I basically, well, I haven't benched in, in as long as I have streamed, haven't streamed. So that's, that's definitely an issue. Um, so anything I'm going to bench today is going to be pretty rough around the edges. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's definitely going to be hopefully hilarious and entertaining, but in the worst case, nothing is going to work, especially on a board like this. But considering I hadn't benched at all, and I was going to be rusty on anything I tried today. I thought I would um, fill in some of the gaps. So here we are, live stream number 91, and it's going to be my first Carrizo stream. And um, 
I'm starting to get to the point where there's not so much left on the MD side. My socket A board seems seems since seems bo like screwed. Um, I can easily do a Trinity stream. I've done a lot of Trinity benching. Yeah, DDR3 does take voltage very well. So um, from from a benching perspective, you basically have three main types of DDR3. Uh, so you've got hypers, PSC, which is what I've got in the rig right now, and Samsung. And uh, hypers probably, you know, it, it really depends on the sticks, but would scale to in generally would scale to 1.9 volts or above uh psc probably about 1.9 1.95 and then samsung sometimes scales to 2.4 but you'll degrade your 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 sticks so the generally accepted wisdom is that 2.3 is the limit for ambient yeah so just got to do a trinity stream Funny that I haven't done AM2. I have the um, the LAN party, but um, for some reason I haven't done a stream on AM2 yet. Uh, AM2 Plus easily done. I have 940 black editions. I don't have an APU. Oh, 3570. Send it to me if it's a good one. <laughs> I'm trying to bin 3570s at the moment. Um, yeah, so some of the things I've done <laughs> while I was away, basically, um, I went to this national park, so I had a long weekend last Wednesday was, was my last Wednesday off. So, uh, my employer and I, because of the business situation, had this agreement where I got six, six months of four day weeks at reduced pay. And those six months are now over. It started in May, 1st of May. So 1st of May to 1st of November. So last Wednesday was my last Wednesday off. And that's, by the way, a big reason why I was able to stream so regularly recently was because I had a free day. But I decided to take some extra days off and take about a five and a half hour drive um, to this national park. Um, and it was pretty, pretty cool. It's the sort of astronomy um, capital of Australia. So it's known for really clear skies, but it was overcast and there was a full moon when I was there. So a little bit bad timing, but I did get to go to this, this um, observatory, which is actually the biggest observatory in Australia. And I did about a four hour hike, 15 K hike around this area. Um, I think this is the called the bread knife uh hill for hopefully obvious reasons um i wish i had my own um my own picks up here but i don't yet but it's it was a pretty cool trip um but this observatory the tours were were closed because of covid so that uh, was a little bit of a shame 4.5 yeah if it does uh five let me know <laughs> um yeah let's um let's just look at the map i also haven't really been motivated to to bench unfortunately it sometimes happens so where are we Yeah, Warrumbungal National Park. So from Sydney. Oh, that's right. It never, um, for whatever reason, because the, the pin is in the middle of the national park, it won't give you any driving directions to there. So yeah, about five and a half hours. Um, and pretty much this is, this is the M1. So it's sort of the biggest highway in Australia. But as soon as you turn, so there's a little section here on the M15, but as soon as you turn onto the B roads, it's just crazy. It's just the real countryside. Like, 
somewhere around here my tank was half full and um i was like yeah i'm not going um you know filling up what's the point in that and then somewhere around <laughs> here my my reserve light came on and it was about 15k from Kula uh, and I happened to fill up in Kula so hey hardware cat barbecue we're just talking about Australian national parks uh definitely a, a favorite topic of yours right but anyway so I've been doing that I've been doing a bit of photography as well hiking I don't know it's we're coming into summer now it's it's November so November is sort of like I suppose November would be so in Germany, let's say the first day of spring is the first of March. So that the first day of um, spring here is the first of September, I think. So September is like March, October is like April. November is like May, December is like June. For, for you know, just a translation for the Europeans on the stream. All right, so uh, one more thing I want to look at. Since we, since we are um, uh, talking about Carrizo and benching Carrizo, hopefully that comes up. Uh, yeah, I'll just... What is what has everyone else been up to? Are you excited about Country Cup? A man after my heart. Yeah, hiking is great. Especially now, you know, it used to be a very uh solitary activity, but now a lot of the time I mean you can just bring a you can just bring a um podcast or whatever along. So it's very different. So, ah, uh, damn it. Let's look at the Greeks. Not Challenger. Where's the Country Cup, cup stage? The hell? Okay, I'll have to look for a, a different way. So 32M, 845, and new life. So the second best result, I think, was the comp entry. Okay, maybe not. Maybe it wasn't him. Maybe it was someone else who... Uh, Bench this. Weird. Were these entries removed from September? That doesn't even line up. Um, what about Germany? Is there some sort of hardware bot bug going on here? Okay, now I'm now I am determined to find this stage. Don't think that's the right year. Okay, let's try 2015. It was around that time. And then two things. Well, we don't we we don't all have uh, chips from Azus hate keep. <laughs> so I don't know if I would even be interested at this point. I don't know. I'm not a big sort of proponent of 
benching a new architecture as it comes out. Next to you. <laughs> GPU Pi 32B, full out. Look at this rig. <laughs> ah, man. That's, that's, yeah, that's it's pretty impressive. So that was eight R9 290Xs. DFI. Oh, is that from Country Cup? I think I'm, I think I'm actually, hold on. Okay, I have, I have, I have one more idea floating around in my head. What if I look up the AM1 32M? Because that was in the same stage. Tatey, frequent frequent viewer of the stream. Here we go. Tw Country Cup 2014. Was Excavator even out then? <laughs> Stupid blower blower. Oh yeah, let's look at the Aussie results. Yeah, I'm completely mixing it up. Anyway, uh, this is the target, I guess. That's on the UP4 and it's on PSC. So we're not gonna match the efficiency, obviously, but it'd be interesting to see if we can get those timings going. Um, so let's let's give it a go. Uh, so 1.9 on the DRAM. Uh, can we give, no, just stick that on auto. Actually, keep that on auto as well. This will be interesting to see. Ooh, it's it boots. Okay, so New Life had a thousand and thirty one at one hundred twenty nine boss. So let's do some uh, high school math here. A uh, thousand and thirty-two multiplied by two for effective, divided by one hundred and twenty-nine multiplied by a hundred, so the sixteen hundred strap. Because that's that 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 ends up being what you just actually type in here, right? It's the sixteen hundred strap. So I know it's a thousand effective or whatever. Um, let's see what happens there. Okay, that posts. So now, to, because I don't know how to BCLK on this platform. Oof. Numlock things. Twenty-one thirty-three. It's worth a shot, right? It's the worst that can happen. Otherwise, we go eighteen sixty-six um, and BCLK a little bit. Personal collection of DFI stuff. All right, so and <laughs> boot loop, yay. That's looking like a fail. So now we can press our little CMOS clear button. At least the CMOS clear button works. Could be worse. All right. So 6106 at 1.9. 
So let's try a straight 1866. And then we can still chicken clock up to whatever. Not looking that promising actually. I should have probably booted the timings first and then do the straps separately. No, no, external capture cards, no way. Uh, stream, I think stream rig. There we go. Yeah, that'll tell you. I mess around with a lot of capture cards. I had a 4K capture card. I had an external um, Aver Media. Got rid of that. The 60 Pro is the best I've tried. Let's disable all this crap, actually. So six ten six at one point nine. And just boot that first and save it as a profile actually. Wow, I have a lot of profiles on here. I don't remember using this for that many things. Well, the sensible thing is to go with the 1600 strap first and then save that. I'll do 7117 7 next. Could also try and drop the north bridge a bit. Let's quickly try that. Something tells me I'll be seeing this no signal uh, screen a lot today. As, at least it's quick to post, so I can't complain too much.
So this is 7 uh, with the North Bridge on the lowest multiplier and 1866. Maybe that strap is just dead. Next thing to try will be Does this correctly load XMP actually? So this is 1866 at 9.12.9. And if this doesn't work, I'll have to see if I can go to a higher strap. Maybe, maybe the mem memory strap is also locked on this chip. Let's see, what, what did the Greeks run? It's always a valid, valid question. Even lower, okay. Oh, this is Sammy's. What's that? Um, So that's the 1866 strap and 91111. We know seven though. Let's try CL2. Which it should default to anyway. Of course, the other thing we can do is just do like W prime or something. <laughs>
Let's see what it actually does when XMP is loaded. Weird. So there's six total sto scores in a uh, thousand and twenty-four. Um, can I beat the worst score at least? One fifteen. Okay. So it applied. So that's that's something. Let's try 110. Ooh. Maybe there's hope. <laughs> That almost looked like a crash. It was so close. I mean, 10% overclock is, it's not nothing. All right, I'm getting a new beer. Oh, damn it. I thought it was going to run. Uh, okay, let's let's get a valid. I mean, why not? Try a rerun. 
just in case. Okay. I'm getting a beer. Be right back. The magic of the second run. Cheers. What's up with this camera? Everything is just not set up the right way anymore. Ah, that's better. Yes, yeah, so this is um, this is a lager. And uh, as you all know, uh, lager comes from the German word for to store something. So lager is, uh, is a beer that requires some storage. And I think that's right. I don't know anything about beer making. Um, I just drink it. Keep up. Why are you still up, by the way? It's, it's a weekday. Come on, you need to go like go to bed, be a responsible human. Uh, so we're at 48%. Let's go check out the Country Cup stages. It's going to be a Country Cup like no other. That's uh, that's for sure with how uh, coronavirus is, um, you know, restricting travel and so on. So Port Royal, four scores. Um, 30, 90, 30, 80, as we have a crash. I can chill it down the chiller a little bit. It's at 18 degrees. So let's try that. So some of the threads have died, but we can, we can rerun. You took a nap by mistake. That's a sure si fire sign that you're getting old. Is taking a nap by mistake. Okay, so um, like five second overview of this stage. Force card, so 30, 90, 30, 80, 20, 80 Ti and 30, 70 possibly. Just roughly just out of my head. Um, I know the next generation of AMD has ray tracing, but they're not going to be released in time for this competition. So it's going to be all NVIDIA, which I think is a fucking pain in the ass. I hate it when they make stages this exclusive of like this, this narrowed down in terms of hardware. 
time spice graphics um it's excluding all the rtx's and the titans so i would expect something along the lines of 1080 ti 1080 5700 xt and the older titan like the titan uh what was the titan in uh, pascal yeah titan pascal maybe what do you think i'm just spitballing things here like so let's go let's go titan for port royal nah because you can f it depends on if you're you running ln2 but like if you're running ln2 i would imagine that a 2080 ti would would do better than the the old titan i don't know but it's close it's definitely close but for time spy let's have a look so Banned, 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 banned. All of this is banned. Not relevant. Uh, 2080 Ti. Didn't know there were so many people with, with uh, so much spare cash. Titan XP. That's actually really interesting. Is that even ahead of the 1080 Ti in that? No, Vivi is, is, is down the rankings. So, so 15K for a 1080 Ti. Well, we have to look at the graphics score because clearly the the CPU score is going to be different. Uh, so 13.5K graphics, 14.3. So yeah, old Titan, 1080 Ti, and then I guess a big gap and 1080 and all the rest of the crap. All right, superposition. I don't even know what the best CPU architecture for this is. I've seen people run it on uh, X299, but honestly, I don't know the first thing about superposition. But dual core obviously restricts it a bit. So you're talking like Titan Z's, um, Radeon Pro Duos, HD or uh, 295X2s, 7990s, GDX 690s, that kind of thing. And then there's this weird heaven stage where they're allowing up to three cores and GeForce 400 family. So you're talking three-way 480, two-way 480, two-way 470, and then either single card 480 or two-way 460 or something. 390X2, yes, White Shark. You can brag about having um, a unicorn card. What do you guys think about this this stage? It's 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 up to three way, but then the lower end cards don't support three way. So I think it's going to be just two or three two way scores and a three way score. You can <laughs> you can brag about having two if you want. Um, I'm indifferent. So this is iGPU only. So that's a real fuck up of a, of a stage because you're talking um, OEM only desktop APUs to be really competitive here. And it's gonna be a pain. So enough said there. Uh, Cadzilla 4K. So that, this is on Haswell. So I'm, I'm feeling good about the platform because I have a good 4770K, but 
uh, it's all dual configuration. So really, really hard to know what, what is best. Because it's 4K, probably anything with a lot of VRAM. So we're talking like 1080 Ti, 1080, the usual. Um, does the 5700 XT do two-way? I think Crossfire is completely dead, isn't it? Not just three and four-way, but also two-way now. Meanwhile, we're on... Oh, the threads are desynced. That's a bit of a shame. Oh, someone's subbing two way. Is this just someone not knowing the rules or something? Let's check. Oh, this doesn't have a GPU Z. <laughs> Report needs more proof. Missing. GPU Z. Okay, so the, I think this Chris guy just doesn't know the rules. Even something like Firestrike, like does he have a validation link? No, there's GPU Z. Oh, here we go. Wow, you learn something every day. This might actually be competitive. It's really interesting because you've got your eight gigahertz, gigabytes frame buffer. So I think the stage might go 1080 Ti, 1080, 5700 XT. Hmm. Interesting. But it's on Haswell anyway, so it's going to be kind of limited. So a run, two threads finished early, and now it's just hung. I hate when this happens. Let's just keep rerunning re it. All right, so Godzilla. Ooh, someone's already subbed for White Cruncher. Yeah, no server, but and single processor only, but everything else. Oh, two, four, eight, and twelve. So two, two is a, is going to be seventy three fifty k. Four might be thirty three hundred x. I don't know, depending on people, if you, people want to freeze it, obviously 7700X, uh, 7740X or 7700K will do well as well. A, 9900K, I suppose, 12 cores, um, Skylac, Skylac X for that one. Um, so this is this has been changed to th one, three, five, and seven. So G four seventy back in fashion for one co for single core. Uh, three three core will be um, same as what we ran last year for uh, X two six five ten eighty p. Five core same thing. Yeah, AVX five twelve. Um, seven core will be a 9900K with a core disabled, I suppose. That'll be fun. So this is the stage I was planning to maybe sub today for, but, um, DDR3 is actually quite interesting here. Um, it's actually, it's all AMD, AMD only, right? So we are talking 939 for DDR1. AIM2 Plus for DDR2 and an AIM4 obviously for DDR4. But for memory frequency, 
it's actually not that clear cut because AM1 did, not AM1, FM1. FM1 did 1950 and AM3 plus did 1948. The real prize will be for DDR3 4000 for the first time on AMD. That will be special. But I don't know if people are going to go, go that hardcore. There's 48 subs for in this comp. It doesn't make that much sense to spend this much time on one sub. Oh, was this my... Um, Team Cup sub. Yeah, this was fun. I love running um, memory on D or on Alan too. So much fun. Okay, so that was stage number nine. Stage number ten. Hyper Pi. Fuck me if I know what the fuck is going on with this stage and this bench. There's no ranking. Nobody knows how to run this bench. So your guess is as good as mine. Uh, PC Mark 7. Uh, split by CPU socket. So I would imagine something along the lines of X299. Um, uh, Coffee. KB. And like AM4 or something. Math bench, same thing. Limited it to DDR2. I don't know what that's <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. But um yeah, here we go. It'll be an interesting comp for sure. 560, 460 supports four way. If you wire it out, but I mean it might it might support four way hardware wise but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can actually get the driver to cooperate i suppose you could use the sli hack but anyway i don't think it's strictly speaking necessary it's been done okay i sort of wonder what what bench is that even in again um is it heaven There's a good likelihood that a. So you've got your three way 40, um, 480, two way 480. Those are definitely faster. Two way 470. Does the 470 do, um, do three way? Because then that's easy. That's the two two way. The two three ways and the two two ways. Um, 91% and as far as I can see there's no dead threads so that's that's good I need to fix this code where you can hire yeah okay so quite a lot of people have run a three-way it's easy then three-way 480 three-way 470 and then two-way 480 and 470 easy so no 460 in that in that uh in that stage so we've got you see that we've got two finished threads and then two others that are running on now last time and they completed and then it hung Yeah, I sort of hope I can get my benching mojo back. I don't know, it's difficult with the summer coming up. Uh, I was really struggling with, I don't even remember, to be honest, what I I ran in terms of LN2 stuff. Um, please load my wall. You can do it. Oh. 
Okay, let's do it a different way. Like it seems like such a long time ago that I, I had um, I subbed anything basically. Yeah, I don't even remember what I was running. I got my usual delivery of ninety five li liters of LN two, and I did some team cup stuff at the beginning, but. I don't really remember what I did at the end of, I, I think I was LN2 binning some stuff. Okay, so our third thread has completed. Is it always gonna hang like this? Okay, let's do something crazy and run only two threads and see what happens. Or maybe maybe the smarter thing to do would be to see the behavior in 32M. God, this is slow for quad core. Okay, so that completes. Let's try 115 BCLK. Okay. Got quite the turnout today. White Shark, Cold Wolf, Double Zero, Ginger, uh, Five by Not So Slim, Harbor Barbecue, Keep Hating, and a few newbies as well. Welcome to all of you as well. <laughs> Although I I suspect Get Affiliated underscore now is uh, is a bot. <laughs> Something tells me that's a that's a bot. So I didn't like that but we're still on stock v core so <laughs> yeah <laughs> need something So let's go to 110 again and give it 1.55. Yeah, um, maybe some gel blasters. No, I just... Um, I just listed off everyone who was in chat basically because it's an unusually um, star studded chat today. So this is 112 BCLK at 1.55 V core. Let 
let's run off a valid. Yeah, uh, down cord, uh, down clocked. There we go. So uh, we've got our valid and let's do W prime thirty two M. Yeah, it's been um, BSODs free for some reason, but that's I think. Part of the reason is this board just won't boot anything. Like it won't boot a setting that's ever so slightly borderline. So then the chance of a BSOD is greatly reduced. So that was slower by quite a bit. Um, let's do the minimize trick and rerun. I mean, I don't purposely trigger BSODs. They just happen when they happen, you know? 12.19, same speed as before. Uh, let's rerun again. Okay. One thing that might be reason for the thread desync is max mem. So I'm just gonna disable that just in case. That would sort of make sense if there was not enough RAM or something. Half a second, nice. Let's save that, but let's also rerun. Definitely the most exciting uh, bench to run. W prime, that's minimized. There we go, another 200 milliseconds knocked off. Sweet. So eight seconds is the record on single stage, I think.
All right, let's try a thousand and twenty four M again. Maybe it's faster on win seven as well. I'll have to try that. What was Mick using? Is that Vista? Let's see if I see some sort of Northbridge scaling or something. Single stage on the Rex. To get 608 bus. I don't know if that's really, um, that's just for, for style points, isn't it? <laughs> So 608 uh, versus what a loon we have. 620. Hmm. 26 minute run. Nice. <laughs> Still got all our threads alive, but still seeing that desync. I don't remember running this, 2,800. <laughs> kind of nuts.
Oh, is this? Oh, the eight gigahertz attempt. I really have to go back to that. I really need to go come back to this. There's got to be a way. Maybe that can be my, my specialization, just memory overclocking. <laughs> Give up 3D. What do you think? <laughs> or maybe I can be BCLK, you know, take every BCLK socket record. <laughs> okay, so the threads are starting to complete. So that's two completed threads. I'm not hopeful about it actually producing a score though. Come on. 97%, 98%. Excitement is building. Wow, it's a score. <laughs> Probably a really crap one, but it's a score. Now, if only I had the Athlon 845 page still open, so I knew what, what's what. So that's five minutes, six, six and a half minutes. Yeah, not great. If we compare that to Havley. This bench must really like Windows 7. Let's try to chicken clock it, as Joe would say. Come on, surely two BCLK more isn't too much to ask. What the fuck? It fell over to the back of bias. Not even sure it has a back of bias. Let's try that again. Hi, Palazin.
I loaded up to my defaults by mistake. How the... <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Time to rebuild our profile then. Yeah, that worked. Interesting. So if we compare that to what we pre previously had, Let's try a 32M run and see what happens. Rerun. Weird. It's having trouble boosting to the max clocks for some reason. All right, let's go down to one core for valids and for maybe a little bit of, oops, don't know what I just deleted. A little bit of light um, 1M messing around.
Oh, that was it. The CPU Z shortcut for some reason. This image is so screwed. So now we're down to two cores. All right, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just very, very curious as to how it will fare in one uh, M. I don't know if that's good or bad. I should probably look it up. So 12.5 seconds is the record. Oh, this beats Mick. <laughs> it's not a bad start and it beats Flanker. All right, so we have, um, well, Flanker's on Windows 7, so. It's kind of worth saving. We're having issues with memory, but maybe um, I can at least push Northbridge a little bit. Maybe the VDIM was too high actually because I, I'm on um, stock VDIM now. Let's try the 1866 strap again. Things are happening here. All right. Let's try to push Northbridge. So I don't think it multiplies it out for you. Um, so, so let's say 1400. Ah, 1300 is the max. So that multiplied by 112, no. 1400 multiplied by 1.12, 1568. Sorry, not 1400, 1300, 1456, let's try that. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, 
Yes, we have someone else to ban. I love banning people. Wow, it calls it Encore now? Are they serious? Is that new in CPZ 1.94? If so, it's heresy. It was also always Northbridge. What are they what are they even playing at here? Look at that. Goddamn heresy. Encore. They're calling it Encore. Jeez. What is what what is the world coming to? Is what I ask. Okay, so we we have pushed Encore successfully. <laughs> If CPZ had their way, that's what it would be, would be called. It's a good a hyperbot nickname, just a post. <laughs> Oof. That's rough. Fifteen point two. Let's try that again. Getting a, a second slower every run. Good day. How are you doing? So I'm just checking if there's some sort of memory voltage sweet spot.
What do you think? Can it do one one three? I'm doing all right actually. Just um trying to run a very unforgiving platform for the first time on stream. It's good board though, it's just uh these locked CPUs are a bit of a hassle. Also likes to post every second time for some reason. Either that or there's some issue with display out. All right, this is one more three. Claims to be one one two though. Let's try that again. I would say for a new build, wait for Ryzen five thousand, but buy a Ryzen three thousand. Wait for the three thousand to drop at the release of um of 5000 all right I think that's gonna have to be it for today. Um, I just wanted to stream so I don't get completely rusty and have a couple of beers with you guys. 10900K, yeah. Um, I don't know what conclusions to draw from this. There's certainly something going on with the memory multipliers on this platform, but I heard from it everybody who's already run this that it's a really hard pl platform to run so I really shouldn't be surprised so as I was talking about at the start of the stream my Wednesdays are no longer free days so streams are probably gonna be weekday evenings so morning time European or um, maybe weekend mornings so European it would be like nighttime but yeah it's gonna be harder to find the time to stream so I'm working five days again anyway I hope that was somewhat enjoyable uh, I certainly had some fun it was nice hanging out with you guys again and until next time <laughs>